you mentioned before, you know, we're be, maybe a bit too conservative in Canada. I think it's been kind of like the motto of like, oh, you know, like Canadian companies, we're not, we're not swinging enough for the fences. There are not, not enough startups and you're putting your money where your mouth is with your fund, trying to like provoke more activity at the, at the seed stage. How do you see these big differences between the U.S. and Canada, right? Because you've spent a lot of time in the U.S. as well. So like, how, how do you think about the state, the two different ecosystems here? I think it's... Um... Yeah, I mean, like, like, I don't know the answers. So, you know, some of this stuff might get me in hot water, but um, I would say you're like, you know, uh, like the assessment is correct that I think it's like way more conservative, um, like from an entrepreneurship perspective. And I wonder if that's like kind of um, because there's like not a lot of capital like easily available that like there's less people starting companies or because there's not a lot of companies being started that are successful, that there's like less capital available over time. I think it's a little bit of A and B. And I think, you know, if you look at the history of like, you know, Silicon Valley, for example, um, you know, there've been these like iconic companies that have been built over and over and over again, like the last few decades. And, um, you know, that starts to like kind of proliferate in the ecosystem. And all those like kind of uh, folks that make a ton of money end up becoming like angel investors and kind of seeding that ecosystem. Then some of those end up becoming like, uh, you know, fund managers and run their own funds and so on and so forth. So sort of this, like, you know, they had this, um, I guess like, uh, you know, like the big bang moment where like a bunch of stuff like started like, like being a catalyst and it created this ecosystem that's really rich now. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think we have that. I think most cities don't have that, right? Like most areas don't have that. Um, and I think that's okay. I think there's a lot of capital available now in Canada from like U.S. funds and so on and so forth. But I think like generally, uh, we haven't seen a ton of like great companies in Canada, right? There's like some good notable ones. Uh, there's like good early stage companies, good kind of like late stage companies, and obviously like you know like some bigger ones like Shopify. Um, but I, I think like the like the ones that are done are done really well. But there's not a lot of volume. Um, I think that's kind of like where my current thinking is, but um, I don't know. Like my, my guess is as, as, as good as yours. And yeah. uh, you know, what are the things that, that catalyze it? I don't, I don't think it's something that's simple. I don't think it's something that's like, oh, uh, there's just not enough like, you know, capital or not enough funds or, uh, you know, the people here are like less risk uh, or more risk averse. I don't think it's anything simple. I'm sure it's more like a, you know, something a bit more complex. Maybe it's like, um, you know, maybe it's like like in, in the in the schools that we go like the biggest schools here in in like GTA area for example, or uh, like Toronto or U of T and and uh, Waterloo and I think like you know even those schools don't like promote a ton of entrepreneurship. We always look at like something like Stanford or MIT. Um, you know they have like very dedicated like their own like you know uh, like design incubator programs, entrepreneurship programs. They have like other leaders uh, at like existing companies come in and kind of like um you know inspire kids and so you know i i don't think it's like one single thing i think it's like a ton of things that we just don't have like a network for um and most cities don't right most cities don't as always thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more check out thepnr.com